hi guys welcome back to my channel so I'm so glad to be back and today I want to talk to you guys about my Trenton Noen journey if you guys follow me on Instagram which you should by the way if you don't but I mentioned to you guys that I started Trenton Noen a while back and I'm gonna be just updating you guys on my progress so this is my prescription that I got so I'm gonna hide my info but this is the tretinoin cream it is a prescription like I mentioned this is the lowest dose at 0 0.025 and I wrote on here my start date I started using it on August 17th so it's been over a month and so far I really like this one so be or before I started tretinoin I was actually using what's it called um just basic over-the-counter retinol. I was using the Drunk Elephant 1% retinol and then I also have the Skin Medica 1% retinol and my skin is pretty resilient. I don't really have issues with using products. My skin doesn't really get irritated easily and I wouldn't say I have sensitive skin. I have pretty oily to normal skin. Um, it's been super oily before and now it's leaning a little towards normal but still a little bit oily. So that's my skin type by the way so when I went to the dermatologist so I do get hormonal acne when that time of the month is starting to come and I mentioned that to her she actually also gave me clindamycin which is this one right here one percent clindamycin from what I have been seeing a lot of people will get prescribed both clindamycin and tretinoin or sometimes just one or the other it just kind of depends on you and what your dermatologist thinks would be best for you so she told me I don't have to use clindamycin if I do not want to definitely tretinoin but um, I do use both so I use clindamycin every single day in the morning and then my dermatologist told me to use tretinoin two to three times a week of course just go by whatever your dermatologist tells you but I'm just yeah this is what I have been doing and then um, before I talk about the products that I use, I just want to mention really quickly how my skin has been reacting to tretinoin. And like I mentioned, since my skin is pretty resilient and also since I have, well, I'm assuming because I've been using 1% retinol and my skin tolerates it perfectly fine, I think that's why my skin is able to tolerate tretinoin, which is a lot stronger than retinol. I know it's still just the 0.025%. And I was using a whole 1% for retinol, but this is still strong and obviously you want to ease into it. You know, there's no point of rushing into it. So I do have to go back to my dermatologist in two more months to see how my skin is going. I don't know if she's going to keep me in this percentage or go a little higher. Personally, I feel like I could go a little bit higher, but I mean, I don't know. It's only been a month. Let's just see how things are going. But so far, my skin really, really loves tretinoin and... I did take some photos and videos. I have them on my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and go through those, and I'm going to insert some clips right here so you guys can see how my skin is or has been, and then I'll insert the dates on there. And then I know I'm wearing makeup right now, but I will do an updated one. So once I wash my face and I do my skincare, I'll show you guys how my skin is looking right now without the makeup. And then I also want to... So that's pretty much my tretinoin update and then I'll update you guys maybe in like two or three more months. We'll see how my appointment goes. From Actually maybe I'll just do it in two months when I go to do my, my dermatologist again and I'm going to see if I'm going to stay on this or go up a little bit higher. Yeah, I think I'll update you guys in two more months. So for the most part, some changes that I have been seeing um, and keep in mind I am using both of the products that I showed you guys so I can't tell you if the results that I'm seeing is more so from one product or the other I think it's because I'm using both combined if that makes sense it's kind of hard to say oh my tretinoin is doing all of this because I'm also using clindamycin but um I have noticed brighter skin my breakouts or at least my hormonal breakouts are really under control by the way I don't really break out as much in general not as much but sometimes I do get like those Hormonal, hormonal acne, like I said, like around the jaw area. What else? I feel like my oil is a little bit under control. Oh yeah, less pores, definitely. I did have a lot of pores around my nose and right here. Let's see, what else did I notice? <clears throat> Overall, skin texture is really good. I know it also helps with anti-aging. Um, fine lines and wrinkles are not my problems. 
but it's good for preventative care. What else? I think those are pretty much the main ones that I've noticed, but I've definitely noticed that my skin really does like it. And this is what I use to wash my face. So my dermatologist told me to use something gentle. Also keep in mind, you know, your dermatologist can tell you something different. I'm just telling you what has worked for me. But I've been using this niacinamide cleansing gel from Notorium. And I wash my face with this every single morning and nighttime. And I always do like an oil cleanse in the nighttime, not in the morning, just in the nighttime to wash off my sunscreen and everything. Oh yeah, also, before I talk about that, let me talk about the sunscreen. Because if you're going to be using the clindamycin and especially the tretinoin, you really need to be taking care of your skin and using your sunscreen. For me, for personal reasons, I prefer to use a mineral sunscreen. Sometimes I'll do like the, what's it called? Um, like the like a hybrid sunscreen where it's kind of where it's some chemical and some mineral sometimes I will do that but I do prefer more of a mineral and my preference is a tinted one if I'm going to use one that has the white cast because the mineral sunscreens are the ones that have the white cast then I will use it if I'm going to be wearing foundation over it but if I'm not going to be wearing any foundation or anything then I have to wear a tinted one or one that just won't show on your skin and I'm going to talk to you guys about two really good let me see. Two really good sunscreens that I have right now. Okay, so these are just two that I have with me right now that I can see. The other ones, I don't, I'm not sure where they're at, but... The first one, it's this one right here. This is the daily go-to sunscreen. This is new from Purita with an SPF of 50+. plus. This is actually like the hybrid sunscreen. I think that's what it's called, where it's like a mix of mineral and chemical sunscreen and I love this one this one is not tinted and it does not give you that white cast I love this one it actually it kind of feels like a serum and then as soon as you put it on your face it disappears you can't even tell that you're wearing sunscreen it's so lightweight it does not feel like sunscreen it doesn't have that horrible chemical sunscreen smell this is like the best one there is and like I said this just came out and I actually already have a backup for it and it's really affordable. I think it's like 19 US dollars. And you can get it from yesstyle.com. I'll leave a link down below. Go ahead and check it out. But I do have a backup right here. And obviously, I am going to... Oh, I have this upside down. I just noticed that. But I'm obviously going to be stocking up on this um, once I start this one. Because I always like to have a backup of things. Especially if I really like them. But yeah, so far, I really, really like the sunscreen. Make sure you reapply every two hours. This is not a water resistant sunscreen, by the way. So if you are going to be sweating, you're going to have to reapply it more often or get a water resistant sunscreen. I know that they are working on a water resistant sunscreen, or at least I have seen a lot of people comment on their Instagram asking them to make one. And they said they were going to pass it on to their team. So I can only hope that they're going to hopefully come up with a water resistant one. And then this is another one that I have heard good things about. This is the Unsun sunscreen, and this is a mineral tinted SPF 30. So this is the one that I was talking about. It's a mineral sunscreen, and um, the shade is light medium. I don't, I'm, I think they do have like darker shades also. And like I said, this is minted, or <laughs> this is mineral tinted. I wanted to say both at the same time, apparently. And this is, oh, this one's actually a water resistant. I didn't even know it was water resistant. But, um, yeah, water resistant sunscreen. And let me see here. Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about next. So when I use my clindamycins in the morning, I will wash my face with this first. And then I will put on the clindamycin and let that get absorbed and everything. I will use my niacinamide and then I will use vitamin C serum. And then I will use my sunscreen. So vitamin C actually helps your sunscreen work even better. So that's something that I love about it. Oh, also I love using this from Kiehl's. This is their creamy eye treatment with avocado. They actually sent me this, so I use this both in the morning and the nighttime. And then for the nighttime, like I said, I will use like an oil-based cleanser. I love the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm Cleanser. Um, you could also use the Pharmacy Green Clean. Um, you could also use a micellar water. You just want to use something that's balm or oil-based to get rid of all of the makeup and the sunscreen that you wore throughout the day. After you do that first cleanse, you move on to your second cleanse, and then I just use this one again. Or sometimes I will also use 
my Derma E Vitamin C cleanser. So they sent this to me. I prefer kind of using this in the morning because it gently exfoliates your skin. So this one, usually like in the morning, I kind of switch off between these two. But um, for the most part, in the nighttime, I will always use this one because it's not exfoliating. On days when I'm going to be using my tretinoin, I keep my routine at very, very simple. Double cleanse, like I mentioned. Do my eye treatment from Kiehl's. And then I will do my niacinamide tretinoin and then I just put on my moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I like to use. This is from Illy Yoon at Ceramide Auto Concentrate Cream and it's this one right here. It's a giant tub of... Let me show you guys how much I've used. It's lasted me so long and I got it from Amazon. I love this one and um, yeah I definitely want to use a moisturizer with like lipids and ceramides this one has that so I do use that one and then on days when I am not using my tretinoin I will make sure to use some type of exfoliator so I have a few exfoliators but one of them is this one right here the ready steady glow daily AHA tonic and this one has lactic acid to exfoliate the skin so I, I don't use all of these but I'm just showing you guys I kind of alternate so I will use either something like this with lactic acid or I will use a glycolic acid I have this one from Notorium and I also just got this one in the mail Replenix sent me this and I also have it these two these both of these are glycolic acids so I will use also one of those or like I said I alternate I don't exfoliate that's a lot to use so I don't use all of those at once or I also just got this one sent in the mail this one is let me see this is an AHA, a BHA, and a PHA peeling mist. Peeling mist. That's a long name, but um, I have not used this yet. But they sent this to me also. But my point is, on days when I don't use my tritinoin, is on the days where I will exfoliate, and then I just use the same moisturizer and everything. But on days when I am using my tritinoin, I will not use any of the acids that I mentioned. No exfoliator. Just try to keep it simple. Niacinamide is not harsh or anything. That's why I have my niacinamide cleansing jelly and my niacinamide serum that I use. And then from what I have researched, niacinamide actually helps tretinoin work a little more effectively. So that's why I'm okay with using niacinamide on the days that I use tretinoin. And when I do it like that, like my the routine I'm explaining to you right now, that, that is what has been working for me. And then I know since tretinoin is helping with new, what is it called? Like the skin cell turnover. And I think it's like your dead skin cells are getting rise to the top faster. I think that's what it is. And then that's why you're using your sunscreen. That's why it's so important. So your new skin cells aren't being absorbed or aren't being, what's the word? Aren't being exposed to the sun. I was like trying to think of the right word. But yeah, and then I know that the exfoliators are going to help exfoliate, remove those dead skin cells. So it's really important, at least to me, to exfoliate properly. But you do have to take it slow. Tretinoin is pretty strong. You don't want to ruin your skin. You don't want to irritate it. Slow and steady wins the race, basically. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for my Tretinoin update. I'll keep you guys updated in about two months, seeing what my dermatologist tells me next. And that's pretty much it. Leave any comments down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.